Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Pauline back with Legacy of Discord. I hope you're all doing good. So today, unexpectedly, we have a treasure carnival in game. I was not expecting it. Actually, I was uh, expecting a sending event, but it seems like we have the capsule here, which we are gonna go and review. But first, let's see what we have here in game. Uh, we are seeing a diamond rebat there, and as for the item hunt, let's quickly see if there is anything uh, new here seems like no so let's go check out the single recharge deals here uh, we have seen the pet that mod there before ice fury is back uh, it is a decent mount can give you some good talents and look at that is it 300 treasure gift box for $30 only wow that is just insane that is the best deal that we have here if you are meaning to max your meta treasure then this is the way to go guys the best deal there and then we have the old divine avatars and now let's go and check out the treasure carnival here uh discount shop as always really bad don't spend any diamonds there and then we have the spending rebat here goes all the way up to 100 gig which can get you some superior pet watches not worth it and then we have the treasure quest here 50 star quest doesn't have the newest platinum pestis so or not worth it in my opinion and then if we go and check out the lunar shop and lunar faces this the first one is today on the first and the second of the august and then there is gonna be another capsule which is gonna be on the 19th and 20th of august and then there's gonna be another one at the end of the month on 13 31st august there and as for the recommendation you can go get the uh divine fire for the mounts you can go get the skyfall stuff or you can work on the divine armor using these material here or you can go with the best souls and work on the best souls get that extra damage damage reduction skill damage skill damage reduction and now let's go and check out the capsule toy machine event which is for the platinum pet here and we have a gold pet here as well so first off we can get some alice packs 250 we can get a red pet 375 we can get a gold pad 500 we can get a platinum pad it's been about four minutes and i have not seen a single activation here on the hkt either hkt is like saving or don't have enough diamond after the last capsule and some events or this capsule is just really really bad so Looking at the history here, no idea how good the drop rate is gonna be really, since cannot tell much, it's not going that fast, I think, yeah, it's not going that fast, but anyways, the rewards, nothing else is here, which is like special, I believe, and as for the shop, uh, we can, we can, we can get the platinum pet. Yes, we can. We can purchase the gold one as well. And they have the last platinum pet there as well. So, looking decent, the shop here. But still won't recommend you guys purchasing anything else here. Just focus on the platinum pet and the gold one that we have here. And now let's go and quickly review the items that we have here in the capsule like the gold pet and the platinum pet and see if they are any good and worth spending for. Alright, so first off we have a gold 
bad here, Stringer. When the main character uses skills on enemy, there is a 15% chance to poison them, causing them to lose HP equal to 4.5% of main character main. Uh, max HP cannot affect the same target twice. So it is gonna individually activate on each enemy target, so that is good. Not bad. Uh, draining the HP is gonna be decent. Uh, especially against the higher BR players, stronger players, you will be able to help your teammates out. Even if someone is stronger than you, you cannot damage them, uh, but you will be able to damage them with the talents like these, which drain their HP and it is gonna help out your teammates, especially in the Skyfall, Cross Server, Plunder, Fellowship. So a really a good talent there for the team play. And as for the Platinum Pet, it's nothing too insane, but when attacking, there is a 25% chance to increase your skill damage increase by 40% for 5 seconds. This effect can only trigger once every 16 seconds. So like I said, nothing really that insane there. 40% skill damage increase there, which is okay. So hopefully it won't be too expensive to get from Capsa because activation is going to be still decent because you can get a lot of rare attributes from the inscribe and the activation from the affinity and as for the inscribe talents they are actually looking okay here the first one every 30 seconds become immune to most control effects for 4 seconds so that is decent and as for the second one attacks have a 12% chance to deal additional damage equal to 4% of your max HP so that is actually not that uh, uh, powerful in my opinion but it's an okay but nothing too special you can go and skip it and keep on saving your diamonds uh, it is something that you can live without and skip and get away with but that's just my opinion you guys can let me know what are you gonna do are you spending and if you are spending you can let me know how much it costed you and i'm gonna sign up now i'll see you guys later with something else till then have fun and take care guys